I was crawling around. My friend, what will happen to a family member who is uh, who who uh, who die according to Islam? If you do the right the the right thing, you go into heaven. If you do the wrong thing, you you go into hell. No. No. What is yes. the what is the thing will happen to him after he die, my friend? Let me repeat the question. After a person he die is a Muslim, what will happen? Is it true that those angels will come to you in the grave, and they will ask you three questions? What I'm telling you is, whatever do good, you'd say it. This is oh, my, my question, understand. my friend. No, is it true that angels will come to you, and they will ask you three questions? Yes or no? On the judgment day, you will be judged. I'm quoting you the Quran. That is not the question. You, that is not the question. You See, you, you see, you told me why I block you. I, I, I ask you about something, you answer about something else. What will happen to you when you go in the grave after death? According to Islam, is it true that two angels will come to you and they will ask you three questions? And if you don't give the right answer, they will hit you with the hammer. I'm telling you <clears throat> what Allah is telling me in the Quran. If See, you keep repeating died. the same thing. You keep repeating the same thing. You did not even say this is true or not a true. Is it a true? What? Is it a true, my friend? Is it true? Why? Is it true or not? Is it true that your God, your prophet, he said to you that in the grave, two angels will come to you and they will ask you three questions. And if you don't answer correctly, they will hit you with the hammer, which is made from steel. Yes or no? You asked me a crystal clear question. You could record it. I'm recording. You said what happened to somebody if they died right, right. before you go to heaven there's a long process because heaven is in the judgment day after you die what will happen grown up after Can die what, after die what will happen I'm, after you die what will happen you go to the grave right oh my god do you go to heaven you right away I'm, after you die do you go to the grave right I'm, away or to the heaven i'm having two seconds you having 27 seconds can you let me talk can you be a can, how, can you how just many times I need to repeat my question in order to make you talk? How many times I need to repeat the same I'm question? Talking. Why it is so hard for you to tell me the answer? I'm what happened to a dead person, but you don't let me talk. Okay, let us you see if you want to talk. Because you repeated the same I'm answer 100 times already. Talk. You answered already. You said to me, We'll go to heaven. You go to heaven. I said to you, This is not the question. You keep saying the same thing over and over. What's wrong with you? How many times I said to you, this is not the question, this is not the question, this is not the question. After you die, what will happen? After you die, you don't go to heaven right away. You go to the grave. Yes. Okay, what will you happen in the, the grave? grave? What will happen in the grave? The grave, you sit there till uh, your your soul. Okay. Your soul in the grave. Your body is going to roll up. The body is not nothing. There's no body in Jannah. Hmm. There's no body in heaven. Mm. But this is, is not a question. Is it true? Is it true that angels will come to you and they will ask you questions? Yes or no? And they will hit you with the hammer. They will hit you with the hammer if you don't give the correct answer. It's crazy, man. Can you let me do this talk though? Why are you talking here like we here we go. Here we go. Please let me <laughs> let me answer. Go ahead, Why answer. I cannot say three words. I say, really? I say two words. You're gonna cut me off. Let everybody, me everybody is laughing at you. You are avoiding the question. No, Go ahead. Okay, answer. So you, you're being a kid. Okay, they, they're laughing. Uh, okay, answer, answer. What, what, is it true? Is it true that she, uh, the angels will come to you with the hammer? Yes or no? I'm telling you, I go by the Quran. I don't care what the hadith is say. The, the Quran say you, you are, die. You are a Quran you only. Believe. You are a Quran only. I am both with the Quran and everything that does not contradict the Quran. The word okay, of Allah. Where, where, Allah. Okay, where this is contradicted the Quran? Isn't it? Isn't it the Quran says that uh, when you go to the grave, Allah is going to make you blind and he will. Uh, let us see what the Quran is saying to you. I will show you on the screen. <sighs> Can you see my screen or no? No, but I, I'm gonna try to see. Give me one second. I go back to YouTube. Hmm. The thing is, if I, I I'm I'm using the same phone. If I go to YouTube, I don't know if if the sound All is right. gonna be. I want you to or... read for me. I want you to read for me. Chapter twenty, verse number one twenty-five. Chapter twenty, you said. Hmm. 
Is it 20, what, 125? Mm. Does it ever occur to you? Oh, does, it, does it ever occur? 125, right? No, no, this is 128. 125, you said, right? Mm. Uh, he, uh, he will say, My Lord, why did you summon me blind? Mm. When, when I used to be a seer. Mm. What is it about? What is so, that? Uh, you, so tell me. you said you believe in the Quran, right? What is that? Explain to me. What is that? Why are you making me not see what I used to be seeing? Mm. But this is about when? I don't need the context. You tell me. You tell me. You are the Muslim. Here we go. You said to me you believe in the Quran only. I'm asking you now. What is that? Yeah, it's a verse. I, I, I read it. I understood the verse. Okay. Tell, like me, to, tell uh, me what, what is the verse saying? The verse said, the man, whoever they are, they said, Allah, why did you make me blind where, while I used to be seen? You asked me to read it. I read it. Okay. What does that mean? That means that you used to be seen. Now you're blind. You don't see. Why? Why? What, what, happened what happened exactly? What happened? This is what happened. What happened? What happened? I can go back to the context. Okay. It says, it says, if I gave you verses in the Quran and you forget them. Do you remember the Quran, all of it? I can't remember the whole Quran. Okay. It's 6,000. But the, but the Quran saying, because but the Quran saying, if you don't memorize all the Quran, Allah will torture you. And I didn't say that. Read, so it, read the verse after it. Nowhere in the world. Read it. Read the verse after it. Verse I'm 126. Right read the verse 126. Read it, my friend. Read it. I will. Okay. They will say, because we forgot our revelation. Mm. When they come to us, mm. you, are, you are now forgotten. Mm. Because we forgot about the Quran, we did not use the Quran. You didn't say memorize the whole Quran. Mm. Don't be inventing. Mm. You are inventing a lie every day. That caught. Mm. So Where it says. Say it says. It says because you do not memorize the Quran, right? You forgot the Quran. No. It says that. It says. No. Okay. Is it, does it say? Does it say because because it, my friend? Okay. Uh, uh, you forgot our our. What is it? Does it say ayah? Does it say the word that ayah? Means, you don't speak Arabic, right? It says ayah. Does it say ayah? What ayah mean? Let me read it. Hmm. Ayah means the revelation. Revelation. The hadith. Revelation. You, you can, so did you, did, yes. you, did you did you remember all the revelation of Allah? I said you can't remember all the revelation. Of okay. Allah. So Allah will torture you if you don't remember the revelation. No, Allah didn't say that. It says that, you know? that, that forgetting it means you are not using it. You okay, you are using it. Okay, Allah He said in the Quran. Allah He said in the Quran, you do muta. Do you practice muta? Allah never said you practice muta. Are you you sure? invented it. Okay, we go to chapter Allah four. We, okay, we go to chapter four, yeah, verse number. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay hold on. Let's see. If this is I am I am inventing. Here we go. Chapter four, verse number twenty-four. Does it say that? And if you don't believe me, here we go. Four. I will go, and I will four. open. I can read four. Okay, read. Go ahead. You said there's no muta. Everybody is laughing at you all because every Muslim believe, every Muslim agree that the Quran taught the muta. Everybody is laughing I, at I, you. Everybody is laughing at you. Officially. Let me read. It. Okay. Let me read it. Hmm? Let the world hear it. Okay. So just, just, just be okay. quiet. And let okay. me read. It. Okay. Okay. Also prohibited are the women who are already married. Hmm. Unless, yes, already married. You can't marry it. A married woman, right? Hmm. Unless. They flee their disbelieving husbands who are at war with you. Mm. Unless they flee mm. the woman, mm. they flee the disbelieving husbands mm. who are in war with you. Mm. Those are God's, God's commandments to you. Mm. So all other categories are permitted for you in marriage. Mm. All other categories. Mm. I just heard you saying you cannot marry Christian. Friend, and let me show you that how funny you are. Okay. 
it says how it says hold on hold on hold on how it says forbidden for you married women if this is about marriage if this is about marriage forbidden for you to marry married women this is what the verse yes, saying, right? you cannot okay, okay. so forbidden for you forbidden for you to marry married women except you're right in her process you can sleep with them right I said <laughs> my friend it's forbidden for you it's for, forbidden for you to have sex not to marry because you cannot marry a married woman you cannot you see how before you are you cannot marry a married woman except except who there's exception for the married women except who except your captive so you Muslims you can rape your captive and then he continue read with me in the screen it says you can go and do an agreement with any women of your wish of your choice additional to the slaves there's a woman a muslim woman she agreed to sleep with you for agreed period of time and agreed money read with me okay. muta. do you see it in the screen do you see it in the screen yes or no I told you I'm facing the book. I cannot. I'm on my phone right now. I'm I don't care. I don't care. This is this is in the screen. It says that this is the word muta. Everybody in the world knows that the word muta. Let me ask you. We make it simple. You see, this is why I say I don't want to talk to you because you act like a kid. Did you hear ever about the word muta? Yes or no? Did you hear? Did you hear ever about the word muta? Yes or no? Let me read the verse. Did you hear ever before about the word muta? Yes or no? Did you hear about it before? Yes or no? Yes I, or no? I did. I did. Okay. You, where's the Wajil Mut'a coming from? As long as you heard, as long as you heard, I want to go with your logic. Where's the Wajil Mut'a teaching coming from? Teach me. I studied the verse. If the verse, if you're honest. My friend, where's the Wajil Mut'a is coming from? I am honest. I am showing Ibn Abbas. This is the cousin of your prophet. You are, you are, you are the one who is not honest. I am showing this is your official Islamic website, the Kingdom of Jordan, and this is the cousin of your prophet, Ibn Abbas. And this is the translation made by the Muslims. Who is the one who is not honest, me or you? I am. I am reading it. I start reading it. Two sentences. You cut me off. You are going to let me finish. I okay, read it. Here we go. And then try, and then... Re okay. So okay. tell me, uh, the muta is coming from so, where? What is the source of muta in Islam? Oh my God! Can you let I, I want an answer. No, you don't. You know, I know you. You are a kid. You never answer anything. I. We start talking about the grave. What will happen in the grave? And look what we're in because you never answer anything. So I'm asking you, the Wajil Muta. You said you heard about the Wajil Muta. It's coming from where in Islam? If it's not from the Quran, it's coming from where? These are God's commandment to you. All other categories are permitted. For Abdul, you where is the Wajil Muta? Oh, don't make, don't force Abdul. me to hang up on you. I'm losing my voice. I don't want to repeat myself. Where is the Wajil Muta is coming for in Islam? Is it coming from the Hadith or from the Quran? I want you to give me a clear answer, please. I'm telling you, Muta is in the Quran. Muta has been interpreted as something different. Arabs are doing whatever they want. This is not a question. I'm asking you, where the Muta teaching in Islam coming from? Is it from the Hadith or from the Quran? Either you say to me from the Hadith, or you say from the I Quran. Said, I said it, Muta. The, the word Muta is in the Quran. Okay, which what? verse? Which verse? Which verse? Which verse? Which verse? Oh my goodness! Which verse? Oh my which verse? The one says Muta. What is your problem, man? Which verse saying the word muta? You just said the word muta came from the Quran. Which verse in the Quran saying the muta? This is ridiculous. Which verse in the Quran saying muta, my friend? Is it, you, a, is it a chapter 4, verse 24? Yes or no? Is it a chapter 4, verse 24, the one I'm showing on the screen? Yes or no? You don't want me to read it. I tried 100 I'm times asking you where you we can find the word muta in the Quran. You said the word muta is in the Quran. Which verse in the Quran? Let me read Arabic. This is not the question. Right. You see, don't make me hang up on you. You are a kid. You are a kid who have no diver and your poop is all over yourself. Are you going to answer oh, where we can find the word muta in the Quran? Which verse? 424. 424. Thank you. Thank you. Finally. The word muta is in the Quran and coming from a chapter 4, verse 24. And this is the interpretation. And so we asked you, did you hear about before the word muta? You said yes. I said to you, so you know about it. You said yes. Okay, where well, we can find it yes. finally, you said in chapter 4, verse 24. Okay, what muta I mean? I'm trying to I'm trying to read the verse for, for 20 minutes. 
You don't want let me read the damn verse. We did let already. We did already. What is the muta I mean? Go no, ahead. What is the two words? What is the muta I mean? Me, you're gonna let me do it. I, I'm reading in English for you people to hear, but you okay. I want you to read and explain it. I'm listening to you. Go ahead. That's what I started 20 minutes ago. You kept on telling me off because you're a kid. You listen, I read the verse right now for you. 424. You're talking about being a kid. Now I'm gonna have to start all over. Okay, I'm gonna restart it over again. Also, prohibited are the women who are already married, unless they flee their dis disbelieving husbands who are at war with you. You are at war, your woman flee from you. They don't want to hear you anymore. They don't want to submit to Allah. They came to us, flee, and yes, the the we we consider them divorced. They can marry other people and have another life. These are God's commandments to you. All other categories are permitted for you in marriage, so long as you pay their due the dowries. You in Islam, before you marry anybody. You gotta have to pay what they call a dowry. You gotta have to pay it. That's God's Allah recommendation. You cannot you just come and see, and see somebody. Okay, we just know marriage is sacred. So uh, uh, you shall maintain your morality by not committing adultery. Thus, whoever you like among them, you shall pay the dowry decree for them. You cannot just sleep with somebody without marrying them. You commit no error by mutually agreeing for any adjustment to the dowry. Okay, I don't have it right now. Uh, I know the dowry is, is $100. I don't have it right now. I give you 50 and within the time, if, if I, I try to save $10 a month, whatever I can save, and I give it to you. But I owe you that. You know, my friend, God, I went to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom and I came back I and the studio did not give me the answer. I went to the bathroom and I came back and I was expecting you would talk and you would say nothing. I want you to tell me what interpretation for the verse you like me to read for you. What is color you like? Give me a name, please. I just, I just read, a, a, read an interpretation. What interpretation of who? Of who? It, does it matter? It's Arabic. Yeah, right? it's matter. It's matter. You know, read interpretation for me. Who is a scholar? Who is a scholar? I want to read it with you. Who is the name of the scholar? His name was Jack and Nike, Potato Tomato. Who's he? Rashad Khalifa. Rashad Khalifa, you are not a Muslim. You are a follower of Rashad Khalifa. Rashad Khalifa, he, he, he cut the Quran pieces. He took verses from the Quran. That's why the Muslims killed him. You are a follower of Rashad Khalifa. You are a follower of Rashad Khalifa. You are a follower of Rashad Khalifa, aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you a follower of Rashad Khalifa? How you explain Rashad Khalifa? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want you to give me. I want you to give me the link of Rashad Khalifa interpretation, please. Go to. Please let me talk. You know what? You just said to me. You just said to me. You did read Rashad Khalifa interpretation in Arabic. Do you know Arabic? You just said to me. You did read Rashad Khalifa interpretation in Arabic. Do you know Arabic? You want me to read in Arabic? Go ahead. I do. I do it in Arabic if you want me to. Go ahead. Big deal. Read, read Rashad Khalifa in Arabic, please. Go ahead. Okay. That's all you had to ask, brother. It's not 424, right? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, uh, well, <laughs> read the interpretation for me. You are not reading Arabic. I know what you are reading. You are reading in, in, the, in the language where it make you pronounce the words as if it is Arabic. Read the interpretation of Rashid Khalifa in Arabic for me. You said to That's me. That's what I'm reading. No, you are not. The, the you are reading what? The translation in, uh, you know. I'm reading, I just read it in English, now you want me to read it in Arabic, right? I want you to read in Arabic, yeah, go ahead. The tra the interpretation, correct? The verse itself in Arabic. No, no, the interpretation of Rashad Khalifa. You said to me, you did read it for me, Rashad and Khalifa interpretation. I want you to read it for me. That's what I just read in English. Okay. No, you said to me, you know Arabic. 
No, I said I can read the verse in Arabic. I can give you the interpretation. How you can read the, the verse in Arabic, but you don't? How you can read the verse in Arabic, but you don't speak Arabic? Oh my God! Do you speak Arabic? So, speak, speak to me in Arabic. Hold, go ahead. I'm listening to you. I'm not speak. I can read the Quran. So how you can read in Arabic? What the point of reading for me the Quran in Arabic if you do not know Arabic? Obviously, you are reading letters which resemble in the sound of Arabic. You do not know Arabic. Okay, now, uh, let's, okay, let's, let's, now, let's, let's, now, let's, let's, listen, let's, listen, let's, listen, let's, okay, let's, okay, listen, 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 okay, listen, you said listen, you are, listen, listen, you said, you said you are a follower of Rashad Khalifa. Is Rashad Khalifa is a Muslim? Rashad Khalifa, yes, he's a Muslim, but isn't it him who cut verses from the Quran off to make what is called miracle number 19? He said that the Quran have additional verses not true. He did say that, yes, he did. That's why the Muslims killed him. Okay, so what? So you agree with, do, you, do you agree with him? Muslim killed messengers, right? No. Okay, so uh, the Muslim they killed the messengers. Yes. So he's a messenger of Allah. I'm just saying it's in the Quran that some messengers have been killed, my right? My friend, my friend. Okay, who, who are the messengers who were killed in the Quran? I don't know the name, but I'm so what, kind, what, that what kind of God, your God, who says those messengers are killed, but he cannot give us a name? Why would he give a name? Why you want to mention them? You know, Allah have time to tell us about the ant who was speaking to the ant, but he cannot mention a prophet name who was killed. Does it matter? Is it relevant? Yeah, it's matter. What? Yeah, it's matter what? because very important to know who is a prophet who was killed. Who is the prophet was killed? <laughs> you are talking about irrelevant things. My Allah friend, no, we are. You see, you see. Listen, listen. You are you are a joker and you have no idea and you are not a Muslim by saying to me that you are a follower of Rashad Khalifa you admit that you are a false Muslim. There's nobody. There's nobody. There's no Muslim in the world. I want everybody to remember this guy. His name is Sheikh Talha. All the Muslims. He is a follower of Rashad Khalifa and all. If we search right now, is Rashad Khalifa is a kafir or not? You will see all the Muslims agree he is. Is that correct? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a lie. All right, let us see. We will see if this is a lie or not. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Rashad Khalifa, he claimed that he is a messenger, and you said that the, the Muslim, they, they, they killed messenger, right? So you agree that he's a messenger. Is that correct? He's the messenger. He is a messenger. Okay, so isn't it your prophet? He said he is the last one. He never said that. Allah said he is the last prophet, not a messenger. So, okay. so Rashad Khali. So, what the difference between a prophet and messenger? Oh, you want to go there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can debate. How you that. can be? How you, you can be? That? How you can be a messenger, but you are not a prophet? Yeah, yes, you can. Hmm. Explain to me. Because, okay. I, I, I'm gonna tell you uh, what's a messenger and and uh, and what's a prophet, right? Okay. Allah said, uh, I, "I know that right now the understanding of the Sunnis or of the regular Muslims is that every messenger is a prophet, right? Every messenger is right? a, is a prophet, right? That that's what they're saying, right? No, no. Tell me what you believe yourself. You know how a messenger can be a messenger of of God, but yet he's not a prophet. Explain to me." Give me yes. an example. Uh, give me an example. Allah. Give me an example of somebody who is a messenger, but he's not a prophet. He did not prophesy. Oh. Give, give me an example. Yeah, I give you an example. Hmm. I give, Allah, uh, Allah gave us the list of the prophets. This is another question. Give me an example of a messenger who is not a prophet. Please don't go around in the bushes. Give me a name of a messenger. He yes. is a messenger, but not a prophet from Islam and the Quran. I don't hear you. I said, give me one second. I gotta. I will give you. Know, you one, I will I, give you one year. No problem. Okay. Uh, the the first thing I would like to. I, I can give you the list of of every prophet. Allah no, no, no. no this is, you see, don't all. play games again. Here we go. We can jump in like monkeys. Give me a name of a messenger which is not a prophet in Islam, please. Just one name. He is a messenger, but he is not a prophet. Go ahead. It's not a big deal. I'm waiting. Can you find me one? No. Who is a messenger but not a prophet? 
Okay, just just give me one second. Don't don't, don't be rushing. Mm -hmm. Look like All you right. cannot, you don't even remember one. You have to search. Yes. Okay. Okay, hold on. Mm. Okay, uh, look at here. Um, I mean, you have to be known is that you put in my is uh, is 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 known is is and that's why I don't make buzz in my nose in my in my in my ears, please. You know, come on. Just oh, okay. read in uh, your heart and tell me the answer. Who is the messenger? Who is a messenger but not a prophet? Give me a name. Um, mm. I will give anybody else other than these people. Than mm. these people are mm. everybody else other than Ibrahim, mm. Ishak, Yadu, No, my they, friend, you see how stupid you are. You are forcing me to insult you. I give me the name of a messenger who is not a prophet. I am facing the name of the. Of the 18 prophets. This is now, not the question. I'm I not asking those. you to name for me the prophet. I said to you, name for me one messenger oh. who is a messenger, but yet he is not a prophet. Make it why you your God he sent 124,000 prophets. Are you going to name them for me? Give me one messenger who is a messenger, but yet he is not a prophet. Give me one second. Now you, you're about to get it. Mm. It's coming. You're it's about coming. to get that. Mm. Mm. Hmm. Those, 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 those. Idris. 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 Okay, what Idris? Well, who is Idris? Idris is a messenger, remember, right? Right. Okay, what Idris did? Tell me the story of Idris. Who is Idris? Listen to me. Don't, don't, don't. we have a debate. Abdul, the, the debate Abdul, let me get you busted. You are a stupid idiot. This is the Quran, chapter 19, verse number 56. It says that Idris was a prophet. Why well, you are a donkey? Does it say in the front of you that Idris was a prophet? Yes or no? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you said, everybody heard you. You said that Idris, he is a messenger, but not a prophet. The Quran says the opposite. No, hold on. Yes. Huh. Oh, yes, yes, hold on. Hmm. Hold on. Hmm. To, to make it simple, Allah told us about 25. My friend, don't messages. change the topic. You said Idris is a messenger, not a prophet. Everybody is laughing at you. Why you lie? The Quran in the front of us, a chapter 19, verse number uh, chapter 19, verse number 56. It says Idris is a prophet. Your God Allah was wrong or was was right? You're right. I read it wrong over here. You're right. Uh-huh. Right. Okay. We go back to zero. Right. Give me we go back to zero. No problem. You are forgiven. Give me give me a name of a messenger who is a messenger but not a prophet. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, now listen to me. Mm. Listen to me. To make it simple, right here. Mm. Right? Mm. You wanna know which uh person is not uh, uh uh I got a list here of eighteen just eighteen people. It's I don't like care. Give me a name. Give me a name of a messenger who is not a prophet. He is a messenger, right but not a prophet. Go ahead. You, you know what I'm trying to do? I'm trying. I know there is not, not six people that are messengers in the Quran that are not prophet. I'm trying to go through the list. Just get lost. I'm losing my voice, guys. I keep repeating my uh, same, uh, same question. We have to repeat it one thousand times, and they will not read. I mean, this is how stupid this cult is. The Muslim believe that there is there is people who they are messengers but not a prophet. We say they never can name one, they cannot. Stupid religion. Let your mom call me. Let the man of the house call. Show me. Silence me. Answer me. I know this is coming. You do not know Hebrew. You do not know Arabic. I know this is coming. Show me. Stupid people. What happened to you after you go to the after death? Or you go to heaven? That's a lie. You don't go to heaven in Islam. You go to the grave, and three angels will will, will beat you with the hammer. I mean, this is a joke. What a liar you are. Shame on you. They are liar with certification of stupidity.
I mean, can you find me one Muslim? He is not doing his best to lie. The Muslim, they don't do their best to answer. They do their best to lie. This is my experience with the Muslims. I never saw a Muslim doing his best to, 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 to answer. It's just a chain of lying. How much we can lie? That is the question. How much we can lie before we get busted? That is the truth. Now, who is a Muslim when I give?